Yo, man, check this out. Had this bad boy for 28 years. Over 200,000 miles. Wow, that's uh, pretty cool. Do you uh, own it? Or... Psh, you kidding me? It's a lease. Once it stops working, I'm trading this bad boy in for another. Duh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how this works. Hey. Hey. Oh, what's up, guys? Glad you're here. Kimber is too. Hey. So, I've got a question for you, if you don't mind. Suppose you were told today that you had to stand nose to nose. Right, Kim? Nose to nose in the Roman Colosseum with a great beast. The stakes? Um, existence. The catch? You have 20 years to the exact second until this cinematic encounter. What do you do? We, we may want to sit down for this. You with me? Good. I'll bet a pretty penny that you might do a little prep work, right? You'd research the playing field. You'd study your opponent's tendencies and train like your life depended on it. Because frankly, it does. You'd spend 19 years, 364 days, and too many seconds to count, putting yourself in the best position to win, building the physical and mental confidence that will propel you to victory on this judgment day. Okay, back to reality, sort of. Present day, we are luckily not called upon to battle in the Colosseum. But that doesn't mean that we don't have equally serious, yet completely different challenges on our hands. The 21st century battle that we face is with morbidity, or the condition of being diseased. And just like the scenario above, it typically doesn't happen here and now. It often compounds over time, surprising people 10, 20, 30 years down the line. That's why I'm here telling you today that there is a lion out there. And odds are, we're all gonna have our day of battle. So why the hell aren't we training? And I'll tell you what the vast majority of people are doing. They're outsourcing their health to medical professionals. And that wouldn't be a bad thing if you had a team of medical professionals dedicated to you 24 seven. But we all know that's not the case. And with this model, the average human falls into the 21st century trap of disease. Most times receiving treatment for point solutions from oversubscribed doctors. We'll call this the doctor's order methodology. But what I'm advocating for here is we need to take this health consumption model and flip the switch to a own your health methodology. In this model, you change your mindset and bring all health decision making back in house. You invest time in understanding your body, learning all the benefits of prioritizing sleep, nutrition, and exercise. You don't kick your doctors and medical professionals out the door at all. You utilize them as your team, your valuable resource, but not the end-all, be-all decision makers. It's totally cool to utilize a team, but you need to own it. The idea of thinking that you can outsource your health to someone and they'll give the same amount or even have time to give the same amount of shit as you can is fucking ridiculous. It's plain and simple. No one will and should ever care as much as you should about your own health. And that's, that's how it is. We are our most valuable assets. We have a finite time on this earth and too many people give up a large percentage of that time living with morbidity, being limited in what they can do what they really want and love to do, all as a consequence of not owning and prioritizing your health. In the end, we're all aiming for the same thing, longevity, AKA a long life doing exactly what we wanna do with no limitations until the very, very, very end. And the way that happens is by paying attention and owning it. I've been doing this a lot because it's important. And I want to emphasize the point. Right, Kimber? I'm not saying you have to be obsessed with it, but you can't ignore it. It's literally mind-boggling how tiny changes day by day, week by week, add up in the long run and make you feel so much better in the now. And it's amazing how our body responds when we prioritize our health. It's something that everyone deserves to feel. And it's something that you should want to experience. 
no better day than today. Quit standing there like an innocent bystander and own your shit. Right, Kimber? <laughs>